Hi, this is John Gabriel, and as you probably know, I lost over 220 pounds without dieting or extreme exercise. But what you may not know is that meditation and visualization played a crucial role in my weight loss transformation, and it continues to be a very important part of my life today. Since you're watching this video now, I'm guessing that you may have a weight problem like I once did. And if you suffer from stress and anxiety and emotional issues, then there's a very good chance that you have an imbalance in the hormone cortisol and some of the other stress hormones, and that imbalance may be contributing or even causing your weight gain. You already know that stress is bad for you, but did you know that stress can actually make you fat? Here's what happens. When you have persistent mental and emotional stresses in your life, your cortisol levels can remain elevated throughout the day. Genetically, cortisol's role is to give you speed, strength, and energy to deal with immediate physical threats like a bear chasing you in the forest. If you need to run away from a predator, cortisol is essential. But if you need to deal with a stressful job, a troubled marriage, or any kind of serious emotional challenges that occur in your everyday life, cortisol is a huge problem. When you're constantly stressed out or struggling emotionally, cortisol can remain elevated continuously, and you'll see and feel the effects on your waistline. Some of the most noticeable side effects of chronically elevated cortisol levels include water retention, have you ever worked late into the night, slept poorly, and awoken the next morning feeling puffy and bloated? That's cortisol. It acts as an antidiuretic, causing water retention that can lead to extremely rapid weight gain. Loss of muscle mass is also common. Cortisol stimulates gluconeogenesis, the production of sugar from amino acids and proteins in your liver and muscle cells. So during times of stress, your body literally eats its own lean muscle mass for quick energy. The combination of less muscle mass and more sugar in your bloodstream leads to rapid weight gain. It also leads to insulin resistance. Insulin is the fat storage hormone. It keeps your blood sugar within a safe range. But unfortunately, cortisol counteracts insulin and leads to insulin resistance, a common condition among overweight people where your body needs more and more insulin to produce the same blood sugar balance. And since insulin is the fat storage hormone, the more insulin you have in circulation, the more your body becomes a fat storage machine. So the bad news is stress can make you fat, but the good news is that meditation and visualization can help reverse that and counteract that process and actually help you lose weight. And you don't have to be a monk to know how to meditate. I first started practicing guided meditation and visualization when I was 10 years old. As a kid, I used to get terrible migraines. I would sit in a dark room for hours trying to sleep while I waited for the pounding and the nausea to pass. My father was a dentist and used visualization with his patients for pain control during procedures. One day on a whim, as I felt a migraine coming on, he sat me down and took me on a mental journey to see if it would help. He started by walking me through a relaxation exercise. He asked me to relax the tensions in my feet and my calves and my thighs until I had relaxed all the way up to my head. Then he said, I want you to imagine that we're skiing at Waterville Valley, a ski area we used to visit every winter. Picture yourself at the top of Valley Run, he said, our favorite trail. Imagine there's a big bucket of sand on your shoulder, and as you're skiing down, that black sand is tipping out behind you, sprinkling all over the white snow. And now imagine that sand falling away behind you. That sand is your headache, he said. And as simple as it sounds, that simple visualization was life-changing for me. As he guided me down the process, he said, I want you to imagine now as you're skiing down that the bucket is only half full. And as the bucket is emptying out, your headache's getting less and less. And when the bucket was half full, my headache was half gone. And by the time we got down to the bottom of the hill, the bucket was empty. And he said, now the bucket's empty, and now your headache's gone. And I opened my eyes, and my headache was completely gone. I soon learned how to practice that visualization on my own, and I would imagine that skiing visualization whenever I had a headache, and sure enough, the headache would go away. Eventually, I got better and better at it, and what used to take about 15 minutes would only take about two minutes. And in two minutes' time, my headache would be gone. It was truly amazing. And then my experience with visualization didn't stop after that. When I was 16, I used visualization to help quit smoking. I was addicted to cigarettes and I wanted desperately to stop. I'd become an expert at achieving a relaxation state from all my practice with headaches. So I again enlisted the power of my mind to change my body's cravings. First, I imagined that the tar in cigarettes was that terribly smelling black goop that construction workers smeared on the roads. I imagined that with each inhale of the cigarette, my lungs would fill with that same black sticky tar. The association was so strong and so repugnant that I quit smoking the very next day. It happened automatically and naturally, which is the best way for change to occur. Despite these amazing early successes, I somehow completely forgot about visualization until 20 years later when I was so overweight, I was ready to try anything. 
By 2001, I weighed over 400 pounds. I tried every diet you can think of, high carb, low carb, high protein, zero fat, and the process was always the same. Initially, I starved myself for a few weeks, even a few months, following whatever diet it was to the letter. And as you'd expect, I'd always lose some weight, but the moment I stopped the diet, the weight would come right back, and usually a little more. Long term, nothing worked for me, and I just kept gaining and gaining. And the real change didn't happen for me until I stopped restrictive dieting altogether, stopped grueling exercise programs, and started focusing on getting my body to want to be thin by changing myself from the inside out. And of all the practices that I did during my transformation, by far the most valuable was meditation and visualization. Today I'm fortunate to have over 350,000 readers in 48 countries, so I have a huge audience who I communicate with directly every week. This allowed me to take my personal research way beyond my home, and in doing so, I've tapped into the collective experiences of people all over the world, and here's what I've learned. Just like me, the majority of my readers report that guided visualization and meditation practices, when done daily, are the most effective tools they've ever discovered for weight loss. How could this be? Meditation calms your nervous system. It turns off the fight-or-flight response and allows you to find emotional and hormonal balance again, both of which are essential for weight loss. Guided visualization and meditation practices allowed me to cure myself of migraine headaches, quit smoking, and transform my body naturally and easily. So with everyone I work with who wants to lose weight, I absolutely insist they commit to a daily mind-body practice of meditation or visualization. It's the cornerstone of your transformational journey, and it stops stress dead in its tracks. Just 30 years ago, the best option for changing your brainwave states from stressed out to relaxed was to get a meditation teacher and spend months or even years learning to control your mind. But if you've ever tried to meditate on your own, you know it can be difficult. Your legs hurt, your back hurts, your mind won't stop racing. Some people try so hard to meditate that the act of trying actually increases their level of stress in the short term. Meditation is a skill, an incredibly valuable skill when learned, but very difficult to master. And it can be quite intimidating for a beginner. If you're a Gabriel Method reader, you've no doubt tried my visualization practices. They're used by tens of thousands of people on a daily basis and they're tremendously effective. But today, there's someone else I'd like you to meet who's also really talented at making visualizations and meditations. Please meet Gabriel Method coach and certified hypnotherapist Paula Robbins. Paula and I first met years ago through a friend and I have to admit, I was a bit skeptical. I tried hypnotherapy before, but most therapists focused on behavior modification, which I didn't like. Intuitively, I knew that my behavior wasn't the problem. The real problem was my body fighting me at every turn. At times, I'd get incredibly strong cravings and insatiable hunger that came from someplace deep inside. It was not about decision making or willpower or any kind of disciplined behavior. It was about my mind and my body wanting two very different things. And Paula recognized that immediately. The first thing she told me was this. You have emotional trauma trapped on a cellular level, and this stored trauma can lead to weight gain. Think of it like a deep wound deep in your cells. Your body uses fat to shield you from that pain. So we're going to speak directly to your cells to clear those blockages so you can let go of that once and for all. This sounds a little out there, but the results were truly remarkable and life-changing. I've never done cellular release work before, so it was a completely new experience. Unlike talk therapy where you relive all the painful moments of the past, this was more like a letting go. As I sat there listening, I felt the emotional trauma and stress from my past being released one by one, naturally. It was an intense experience, but it was also enjoyable and relaxing at the same time. And it was easy. I didn't even need training or meditation teachers to get started. I just sat there and listened. Ultimately, this type of cellular healing work has had such a big impact on my life that Paula and I followed up with numerous sessions together. And each time, I cleared more and more blockages and felt lighter and more peace from the inside out. Since that time, I've referred hundreds of my readers to Paula, and eventually she joined the Gabriel Method team as a senior coach and advisor. The problem is that Paula herself is extremely busy with one-on-one -on -one consultations. She's often booked many months in advance. So in order to make her powerful work available to more people at a very low cost, I asked her to create an at-home audio version of her work that my readers could use anytime. I'm excited to announce that she's agreed. The result is called Cellular Wisdom, and it's a four-part at-home program where Paula leads you through her unique healing modality enhanced with powerful smart mode music technology that quickly takes you from that overactive beta brainwave state down to the alpha state where you're more receptive and open to positive imagery and affirmations. As an author, coach, and someone who's had a massive weight loss transformation myself, I can tell you firsthand how emotional issues can get blocked in their body at a cellular level and can contribute and even cause weight gain and obesity. Being overweight is painful, 
I know that firsthand. And many people will do almost anything to lose weight. And yet, I sometimes have to beg people to do something as simple, safe, and proven as meditation. Don't overlook the power of your mind. It's your greatest and most powerful ally in your weight loss journey. Since you're struggling with your weight right now, it means you're in a state of mind-body disconnect. In your head, you desperately want to be thin, but your body is fighting you with hunger and nonstop cravings. I say start at the source. Start with your mind. Use a daily practice of visualization or meditation to rewire your neural pathways so that you're not stressed out and so that your mind and body can work together. My personal coaching team and I have been listening to these sessions now for months and we're all amazed at how effective they are for stress relief, overcoming limiting beliefs, and triggering a relaxation response in a matter of minutes. I'm excited to introduce this program now publicly and I hope it's as effective and beneficial in your life as it's been in mine. Please scroll down for ordering information to see how you can get instant access to this program right now, along with a number of exciting bonuses I've included to help you along your journey. So thanks for your interest in a mind-body approach to weight loss. I truly believe it's the only sustainable path to success. And I hope you can keep an open mind to a daily practice of meditation and achieve your health and fitness goals easy and naturally. So thanks very much. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.